We are live from Thomas Square for the uh, flag raising for La Ho'i Ho'i Ea. There is uh, this year the uh, La Ho'i Ho'i Ea was uh, moved from Thomas Square where it's been since its revival forever actually from the beginning and then uh, from its revival in 1986 but okay I'll continue later Sorry you can't hear the uh, speaking.
wind to see what she's saying.
be facing the four directions.
at uh, Thomas Square, uh, the actual official organized Laho Iho Iea uh, was moved to uh, Honolulu Hale City Hall. Because Thomas Square is closed, but uh, some people decided, well, Palmas Square is where La Hoihoiea has always been commemorated. of July 31st, two pavilions decorated with greens and a flagstaff stood on the plain east of town. On the street line to the west, tents from warships in port punctuated their arid surroundings. A thick mat of rushes made the line of march. Thousands waited for the ceremony of the day at 9.30. Rear Admiral Richard Thomas of the British Navy called on the king to sign official documents. A half hour later, several companies of English sailors and marines were drawn up on a line facing the sea with an artillery corps on their right. Admiral Thomas and his staff arrived in the king's state carriage while the monarch himself came on horseback, accompanied by the household troops. The artillery honored His Majesty with a 21-gun salute. At a given signal, the British flag officer bowed his colors. The British flag was then lowered and the Hawaiian flag raised with an official, official gun salute, first from the Thomas uh, Paris Fort, then from the English and American warships. A great cheer arose as the wind caught the folds of the Hawaiian flag. Admiral Thomas read a long declaration, after which Marines, sailors, and artillery passed in a review witnessed by Commodore Lawrence Kearney and officers of the USS Constellation. Hawaii's sovereignty had been restored. The bigwigs departed. The sailors and Marines went back to their ships. The crowd evaporated, and the four-footed foragers reclaimed their domain. On January 22, 1850, the Privy Council named Thomas Square and voted to choose a day to fix its boundaries. That is a, um, that's from the Hawaiian Journal of History and that is just a, um, a description of that day. Mahalo everyone for coming. Um, Keakua will go with all of you as you go back or go on your way. Um, you're welcome to stay here. Um, and I want to just uh, mahalo to all our kupuna that came before us, to all our um, our fighters, all our patriots, all our um, uh, activists that have come before us, that have paved the way for us to be here today. Mahalo everyone for coming. Okay, the Hawaiian flag. Not much of a breeze, but it is the Hawaiian flag. People will now sing, uh, are singing a Hawaii Ponoi. No, no, the lyrics, I took a photo of one earlier.
the singing of Hawaii Puna. Okay, so there are two locations for the Honolulu's La Ho'i Ho'i Ea. This is the traditional one, but not the officially sanctioned one. Thomas Square was closed uh, for renovation, and the city, of course, promised to have it reopened in time for La Ho'i Ho'i Ea today. But, you know, it's not. That's why we're here. The official La Ho'i Ho'i Ea, or at least the uh, government sanctioned one, was moved to um, Honolulu Hale City Hall, where we're probably going now, and there are booths and whatnot, uh, tents set up for discussion on the various issues. So this was called at the last moment. La Ho'i Ho'i Ea has always been at Thomas Square since the very beginning. And this would have broken uh, that, so people decided, you know what, we're going to have a flag raising ceremony at uh, Thomas Square. You can see Thomas Square is actually behind uh, that wall. Uh, this part of the park isn't actually open, although, you know, technically, legally arguable. <laughs> uh, uh, so people were risking uh, legal problems and whatnot by being here and I personally got to thank everyone here. Later on today, every Sunday, uh, Food Not Bombs, if people come to uh, feed the hungry here and uh, we might come back later in the afternoon. The plan now is for us to head off probably to Honolulu Hale and uh, there are some discussions scheduled so I think uh, I think we'll go there. I promise to live stream uh, some of the organized discussions. My uh, feeling of it being at Honolulu Hale is it's, it's kind of absurd because you know this is this is about Hawaiian sovereignty and the city is the one who enacts laws that will uh, arrest people for sitting down on the, on the sidewalk, let alone raising food on the aina. Anyway, it's a long <laughs> discussion. If you know who I am, then uh, you know where I stand. Okay, so from Thomas Square, the flag raising. We're going to say goodbye for the moment and stay tuned. We'll start rebroadcasting probably at uh, Honolulu Holly. Thank you.